What's up, guys? I'm back. <laughs> so, it's been a while since I did my part one episode, and I wasn't expecting a lot of people to even watch it. I was expecting maybe five views. So, the fact that I got, like, like 40 is pretty good. Also, just another side note. This thing still does not work. I'm just using it as a prop. <laughs> so, that's a thing. Also, I did buy the plan for this, uh this ed video editor that I use for all my videos. So no more watermark. So, wish I just did that <laughs> for a little bit. But it was only like 50 bucks for a whole year. So I guess it's not horrible. So maybe if I find a better one that won't be that much, I will get that one instead. But you get what you're getting. You don't get upset, I guess. I guess unless you spend a lot of money, then you should get a set, you know. But, um, yeah, in today's episode, um, we're going to just go through episodes 10 through 18 of Total Drama Island and talk about the people that got eliminated in that one. Uh, I'm also going to be joined again by Kenzie during some of the B-roll and everything, and then hopefully I'll get some of the some of my other footage from episodes 5 and 9 put up of us reacting to Total Drama along with episodes 10 through 18, so look out for that. But, um, but yeah, we, we did the ranking, so probably, like, over here somewhere, I'll have, like, the, the last list that we did of what everyone's places were. Same thing, so when I mention an action, I'll put it on screen along with the little, like, and yeah, I think I put it up in this corner. Yeah, basically being like, will we rank it and everything? And then after we talk about each episode, if someone doesn't get eliminated, we will put their ranking in and then move on to the next episode. So, same form as the other one. If you haven't seen that one, I highly recommend you do or else none of this is going to make sense. So, let's get started. Alrighty, so episode 10 is the cooking episode. So, each team must put together a three-course meal with Chris to eat and judge. And hopefully not get eliminated. Uh, Heather is focused on this episode because she's being like a control freak. A, a control freak, sorry, throughout the entire challenge. So they end up blocking her in the the walk-in freezer. Which um, I have one at my work. Those get pretty cold after like five minutes of being in there. So the fact that she was in there for like two hours, I think I would have just died. Um, Harold gets bullied a lot in this episode. Mainly for leaving his drawers out, so. Felt bad for Harold in this one, but I guess he did a little bit deserve it. Um, the Bass do end up winning, and then it's revealed that Beth brought a uh, cursed Tiki doll back to the island and cursed her entire team, so they eliminated her for that. Which, like, I think I get into it in the prediction list when we do the, uh, like, when we do Beth's ranking, but... They did it so dirty. They just wander out. Fucking, like, if you really think about, like, the like, when the curse started, none of it was really a curse or her fault to begin with. We just started being assholes, you know? So, that's not a fault. Beth, I love you. <laughs> now, the Bass didn't have anything happen in this episode, other than just pranking the shit out of Harold, but... But they did have Owen throwing a crate of oranges, causing Trent to have a concussion, and Heather surviving at least an hour in the walk-in freezer. And here is Beth's ranking for that episode. All right, so Beth got eliminated. Where are you thinking Beth should yep. go? Well, I don't know. I would I don't say I don't know if I would consider her the weakest, but, but then again, she did brought that curse from the Boney Island, Island which was a pretty dumb move, if I would have to say. So. Yeah. Probably a three or four. Okay. Probably like a little. Okay. I mean, like if you really think about the curse, like, like in that one where she takes it, Izzy gave away information. It wasn't even her fault. And then mm, they that started is, that shooting is... at each other for, during yeah, the deer hunting. That is true, though. And then that Heather was true. just being mean this episode. That is true. Mm. <laughs> they did. They did Beth dirty. They just want to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, they really did. Honestly. Episode 11 starts with Chris bringing everyone to the dock and explains that the challenges are going to be based on trust. 
because everyone's having a problem with trust, especially uh, the gophers after after Beth fucking cursed them with a voodoo doll. <laughs> so it mainly consists of like the the first two challenges are basically just like basic trust challenges with cooking someone food and hopefully not poisoning them and like not letting them fall to their death. And then like the last three are blindfold challenges. Um, this episode, uh, DJ's bunny, your DJ's bunny. Um, he finally comes back just to get fucking killed, and then Duncan replaces it with a different bunny. So it shows that he's actually a nice guy. Um, probably not for long, but... The bass end up losing because Sadie is a bad at shooting apples. Bad at shooting an arrow off of Courtney's head, so she was like, you got it, go bitch. Um, the only thing I had written down for the bass for this episode was Harold being able to hold Bridget in his arms, and the gophers did not have anything happen. So, yeah, it sucks. It sucks for them. But here is the ranking for Sadie in this episode. All right, okay, so Sadie. So I yep. had that she just pulled the crate, and she was able yeah. to just take an attached plank off of the dock just by her hand. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of like a like a like a six or like a high yeah. five. I think so too. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, definitely higher than Katie. Yeah, definitely not, not good enough to get like here. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Episode twelve is one of my. I think is my second favorite episode on Island. Uh, Chef is in charge this time, and he set up this kind of like boot camp challenge where he's like. Being, like, a guy in the military forcing teenagers to do, like, stupid-ass things, you know? And every time someone quits, they move on to another challenge. Uh, this is where we get some, uh, some, some fucking Duncan and Courtney action. So, big bonus there. Uh, they're still repping on Harold. Poor Harold. <laughs> um, the Bass end up losing this time and send Courtney home. But they didn't vote her out <laughs> at all, which... This is one of the best fucking eliminations ever, in my opinion. Mainly because I don't like Courtney that much. So seeing her get eliminated this way is pretty awesome to me. But Harold was like sick and tired of all the bullying. So he goes into the confessionals with the like the voters box where you put the little the, your vote in. And he breaks it open and rigs the vote to get Courtney kicked off. Which, W, W for Harold right now. But unfortunately, this does spark Courtney's whole I'm going to sue you kind of thing. Like, it brings her on that arc, so... I guess she wins something you lose. <laughs> uh, the only thing I had written down for the, the bass is that everyone was able to hold the canoes over their head for a long period of time. Which I believe was 12 hours. And then the gophers end up having Gwen hang up a Side down for a long period of time. And then here is Courtney's ranking for that episode. Alright, Courtney. Oh, yes. Would have been so Courtney, dope. Let me see. Uh, she gets crazy towards the end, so. That is true. Actually. That's in like a 6.7. I would say 6.7. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Probably when we get to like the Palo de Losers, she's gonna go like like higher up on this little. Yes, absolutely. Thing, but... Yeah, but for right now, that that's where she be. <laughs> Episode 13 is the Extreme Sports Challenge. Three members of each team must compete in an extreme sport to get a point for their team, including mud skiing, skydiving, and moose riding. Uh, there's also a love note involved, which Gwen and Bridget try to find one who wrote it, and then who's written for because it turns out it's not for either one of them. So... But it ends up being for Lashana, but you don't find that until later after the Gophers already won. Um, they end up winning because uh, Harold gets a little uh, distracted by Heather. If you've seen this episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then Harold gets booed off because he bailed for no reason. I kid you not, that's what exactly they said in the show, is that they're like, I don't know what, why he stopped. He was doing great. Why did he bail? Did you not see the same thing that we did? <laughs> and then towards the end, we find out that Harold wrote a bunch of the lem notes for Lashana. Harold's got insane riz, and he shares one nice moment with her before he is kicked off the island. So, 
The only thing to note for the bass is that was uh, Harold being able to unchoke Owen by karate chopping him. And then for the gophers, we have a few moments, like Trent surviving a 5,000 feet drop, and Lashana riding a moose for 8 seconds. Especially since that moose was kind of like crazy. So, W, W, W. <laughs> and then here is Harold's ranking for that episode. Oh, where the hell am I going to put Harold? <laughs> That's a good question. I feel like I feel like his like strengths are all over the place. Yeah, he just like he has like the like the ADHD brain where they like folk, like they have a new hyper fixation in a week. They learn a new skill and then they abandon the skill and learn something else within yeah. the next week. So he has like a bunch of different like. He's like he's like one of those like pocket like those survival pocket knives. Like he's got like so many different functions. <laughs> that is true, though. So maybe maybe like a like a six. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he does get better in action. So yeah, for, for, for an island right that now, is true. he he is a six. A six, definitely. Episode fourteen is where we get the split between the boys the boys versus girls, and they must sit through a nine course meal and eat very disgusting food, and hopefully to win a trip. On a cruise for the next two days, where you get to eat like luxurious meals, have massages, and get like antibiotics for anything that they could have contracted from the uh, the challenge. So, I say that's a pretty good reward. Uh, the boys end up winning thanks to Owen's stomach before ending the episode with a lot of vomit. It was gross. <laughs> the only thing that was noted in this episode was the bass, and that was DJ tackling Jeff to the ground and pinning him down. And since there was no elimination this episode, there will be no ranking. Episode 15 starts with Chris announcing that the teams are dissolved and everyone is, it's every man for himself now. Even though there's going to be no teams for now on, we're still just going to be focusing on, like, who was on the original teams. So for me, I'm still focusing on uh, Bridget, DJ, Jeff. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to think now. Damn, I cannot count. So for me, I'm still focusing on Bridget, DJ, Jeff, and Duncan. And then Kenzie is focusing on Heather, Lindsay, Gwen, Lashana, Trent, and Owen. So we're still going to be referring to them on their own kind of teams, even though with our man themselves. So just so I don't confuse you. <laughs> During this time, they also bring back two contestants that were previously eliminated. First being Eva, and then Izzy. The challenge then begins with the challenge being named Say Uncle, where Chris spins a wheel and whatever it lands on, the contestant must do that thing for 10 seconds or be eliminated. Uh, everyone except for Lashana and Eva uh, w gets eliminated and they move on to the final challenge where Lashana has to waterlog against a surface bear and she ends up winning flawlessly and wins immunity and a big ass trailer. Like, a really, like, one of those big fancy trailers that you can just easily live in. <laughs> and then Eva gets eliminated because no one likes her, that no one likes that she's back, and she racks up six votes. So the killer bass, do you have a, a few moments? Duncan had a bunch of snapping turtles bite him. DJ got body strangled by a snake. And Eva murdered Bigfoot and skinned it. <laughs> I think they refer to it as the Sasquatch, but I didn't know how to write Sasquatch in the script, so I just put Bigfoot. It means the same thing. <laughs> the Gophers also had a few moments as well. Izzy can swing on a vine, which means she has very good upper body strength. Izzy getting electrocuted by eels, and Lashana throwing Chef. I don't know how far, but she bodies him. Here is Eva's ranking with the additional information. Um, let's see... <laughs> Yeah, they uh, just stole their shit. <laughs> well, dude, I think I might have to make a new tier for Eva. <laughs> yeah. Can you make a new tier on here? Yeah. And this one just be 11. <laughs> so we're going to put yes. Eva right there. belongs. <laughs> she, she skinned that man. <laughs> she really has. I mean, good lord. She is like relentless. <laughs> Episode 16 is a treasure hunt style challenge. Each camper must pick a location card to find their key there. Some people have easier times than others getting their keys. 
We also get Trent and Gwen development, and they actually end up, get, get this, they end up kissing. So, established couple, very good couple, and Heather does not like this. So, she gets the help of Izzy and, look, I didn't, I almost said Lashana. <laughs> Of Izzy and Izzy and Lindsay, so she gets one of them to write a fake note to Gwen, basically saying to meet at the dock, so she could see uh, Heather and Trent kiss to break them up. It works, and Heather gets away with it. And stupidly, she finds invincibility because of plot armor, and so Trent ends up getting the boot because Lashana spread a bunch of like. Spread the whole thing around, trying to get one of them eliminated. So, bye-bye, Trent. I don't think anyone will miss him anyway. It's probably better for him to, <laughs> to be gone from the amount of, like, concussions and injuries he's had. So, maybe it's a blessing in disguise, you know? The Bats had a few moments, such as Duncan jumping through a fire wheel, DJ breaking a branch with his weight, and Bridget being able to climb a tree super fast. The only moments from the gophers that we have is Izzy surviving multiple bee stings, Izzy surviving multiple snake bites to the head, and Owen getting half eaten by a bear. Don't ask me why, there's a lot of animals <laughs> in this one. Here is Trent's ranking for that episode. Alright, since Trent got <laughs> eliminated, where should he go in the, uh, the ranking? I would say probably at least a two or three. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember crazy. any physical thing that he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Damn. Yeah. Damn, bro <laughs> did nothing. Damn, I really should have grabbed a water bottle before I started. Damn. Episode 17 is a hide-and-seek episode. Each camper must hide while Chef hunts them down with a water gun. So you can either get invincibility by either... Be either not getting found in your spot, finding other campers, or reaching home base in order to win immunity. This is also the episode where the guys create an alliance to start getting the, the girls kicked off. Heather and Lashana end up winning immunity, and Bridget ends up getting getting sent home because of the guys' alliance and the girls' split vote. The Bass had a few key moments, mainly being Duncan being able to hang Owen over an edge, and DJ pulling himself onto a roof. Uh, the Gophers had a few moments as well. Uh, it was Owen being able to pull himself onto a roof. Is he tackling Chef from above? Is he battling Chef before kicking him in the face? And is he breaking through a window? Is he crazy? Did I mention that yet? She is crazy. <laughs> Here is Bridges ranking for that episode. Me. Let's see. I feel like I don't have a lot of notes for Bridget. Yeah. There's not really a lot to say about her in yeah, terms I mean, of, like, she is athletic. That is true. Uh, handstand. Burnt down a whole tent. Um, uh, she has first aid experience. Nothing for that one. She was able to lift a canoe for 12 hours, but her whole team was able to do that together. So I guess that doesn't really count. Yeah. Um, I'm just maybe, maybe like five. Probably the five. Yeah. All right. Right there. A little bit above Katie and Sadie, but. Mm -hmm. Episode 18, it will be the last one that will be covering this episode. In this one, Chris challenges the campers to make their own bikes from scratch and race them. Before the race starts, Izzy ends up kidnapping Lashana and racing around the island. So they're not in this challenge anymore. I guess the writers didn't want to didn't want to write anything. So yeah, that's that. Chris then reveals that they're actually going to switch bikes, and if your bike crosses the line, you then can race for immunity. So I guess the writers really wanted Lindsay gone because her elimination is so dumb. Because Duncan and Owen end up wiping out and do not complete, so Lindsay gets the boot because she plays second. And Heather plays first. So, at least she does curse Heather out before she leaves the island. So, A plus for that. Unfortunately, I got to watch it with the, um, with the censored. So, instead of, like, a long bleep, she was just saying nonsense, which 
I understand why they did that, but, like, come on, man. You could at least have the insults make sense, you know? But it, it, was, it was so obvious that they added it later. Like, they weren't planning on it at all. They were like, oh, fuck, we can't add this for the American release. Quick, we need Lindsay's voice actor in here. Can you just say some random shit? And there she was like, all right. And then she said that stupid shit. But highly recommend you watch, like, the, the non-censored version. Because it's just a bunch of bleeping. And it's so much funnier. The Bass didn't have any moments in this episode. The Gophers did have two, though. Uh, Lindsay is able to disassemble a bike and put it back together. And Owen killed a bird with his fart. I don't know where that puts him on the power scaling, just to be honest with you, but he can do that. Here is Lindsay ranking for that episode. Alrighty. Or should have done the thing that Kai did with saying, like, I, I wish all of you the best, the best of luck. Except you, Heather. You fuck yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just, just end it with funny. that. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh my gosh. That was great. Alright, Lindsay. Where are you thinking Lindsay should go? Hmm... Uh, I don't really know. Maybe, a, maybe like a, I would say a four or five because like, yeah, maybe, maybe like above Beth. I would say above Beth because yeah. she's, she's done like a few smart things, but most of the time she's, she's well, you know. Not very, not very the brightest tone. I don't know why, but he can. And here is Lit in Lindsay's ranking for that episode. And that should do it. That was episodes 10 through 8 covered. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll have a link below to Kenzie's channel if you want to go check her out. Hopefully it won't take too long for the, the last part of the series to come out. So when it does... Watch it. <laughs> yeah, so... So, uh, that'll be a, for Island. I want to do action and world tour along with the other, other seasons, which... Because, like, action's pretty cool. But so is world tour. So, it'd be interesting to see how the, the characters had developed and their strength and whatever, so... That'd be cool. <laughs> Uh, I highly recommend checking out my other videos if you haven't already. I've been mainly reading uh, Wattpad fanfiction right now. And um, I, I did one where I showed off my Pop merch, if you guys are ever interested in that. I'm going to try to upload some videos of me and Kenzie reacting to some of the episodes of Total Drama as well. So look out for those. But, you know, it's just... Just make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell and also like, comment as well. Just let me know some feedback. Let me know what you did like, what you didn't like. So, that should be doing it. So, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!